Hey guys, this is Dshack Tech, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get iOS 5 from the Apple Developer website, and what problems you guys might run into during this process. Let's get started. So to be able to um, upgrade to iOS 5 beta um, from the Apple Developer website, you will need to be a paid, registered um, developer. Um, what this means you have to pay $99 a year to get this account and this will allow you to get your iDevice registered now if you have done or tried to upgrade illegally you will find out that your iDevice is not registered you will have to either find someone who is registered and have them add your device to their device list and this will get your and this will get your device registered now how you do this is find your UDID code um, you do this by going to about this Mac, go into more info, go down to USB, find your connected iDevice label, um, click on that, whether it's your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, click on it, go down to your, your, your serial number, to the right of that is the 40 digit hex number, you want to copy that and go into your Apple developer registered um, helper account and add that into the add device in the iOS portal part of the developer website. Now that is one way to get your iDevice registered. Now I'm going to help you guys how if you have already your iDevice is registered, you know this, but you guys don't really, this is your first time upgrading or you don't really know how to do it in the first place. What you want to do now is if you are a registered um, developer, you need to download the iOS 10.5 beta um, of iTunes. This, this is necessary to upgrade. You also need the iOS 5 beta IPSW. This is also found on the developer website. Um, what you want to do is open up iTunes. Open up iTunes. Um, you want to add in, plug in your um, device, and then you want to go to want to actually hit the. You want to click on the icon for it. You want to hit Option if you're on a Mac. Option. Um, then you want to hit Restore at the same time, and then you're gonna go find your IPSW firmware. Click on it, and it will start restoring your iDevice. Um, now, after this is done, you will see a start page um, slash menu on your iDevice. Just fill in all the things, your name, your language, your location, your Wi-Fi network, and you should be done. If you have done this illegally and you're not a registered device, you will run into a thing where it says you are not registered, and you will be stuck on that page. Now, if you are stuck on this page, the way you do this is go into iTunes, um, plug in your device, put into DFU mode. You do this into DFU mode by holding down the home button and power button at the same time for 10 seconds. Um, don't don't uh, mind the power off button, it will go black. After you hold that for 10 seconds, release the power button while holding the home button for 7 more seconds. Then after that is done, iTunes will pop up with an alert saying your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad will be in recovery mode. After this is done, you will hit Option on a Mac, same thing as before, option, find your IPSW firmware, not the 5.01, but something else, whether it's 4.33, 4.30, 4.21, whichever one, you can download these IPS firmwares at felixburns.com, um, I'll have a link in the description box for lo below for this, and then do the same thing, option, click, restore, then click on your IPSW firmware. This should restore your iPod touch to factory settings to that firmware you have selected. Now, this is the way you get iOS 5.0 beta. Um, I have done this um, correctly. I will have you can check out my other video for the demo of iOS 5. If not, you don't want to take this process is because it could turn your iDevice into a brick. So take warning. Um, you will have to wait till fall because iOS 5 comes out this fall um, at the release Apple does. And that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, DShack Tech, for more app reviews, app news and rumors. Um, tutorials on how to jailbreak or upgrade your <laughs> iDevice. Um, follow me on Twitter, and as always, thanks for watching.